you're watching Bagger Brothers. And this is Carnival in the Rhineland. Whoa! No matter where it's celebrated, Carnival is one of the most epic parties on earth, from Brazil to New Orleans. But when we think of Carnival, most of us don't think about Germany. Carnival first came to Germany with the Romans, worshipping Bacchus, the god of wine, and later pagans scaring away the demons of winter. But it was adopted in the Middle Ages by the Catholics, who turned it into a way of letting loose before 40 days of Lent. Doesn't look like humanity's changed very much because a thousand years later, people are still getting smashed. And the best place to experience Carnival in Germany is in two neighboring cities in the Rhineland, Cologne and Dusseldorf which also happen to be arch rivals. Not unlike two hyper-competitive brothers, the rivalry between Dusseldorf and Cologne started way back in the day. Cologne was founded first by the Romans, no less. It became a major trading hub on the Rhine and an important Catholic pilgrimage site thanks to its beautiful and world-famous cathedral. Whatever, Dusseldorf might be younger and not as big, at least until its adolescence, when it flourished with industrialization, making it richer and eventually the capital of the entire region. Take that, haters in Cologne. For locals, the rivalry is endless, but what matters most to us is beer. So we decided to kick off Carnival by comparing the two cities' different beers. Well, one of the major differences between Cologne and Dusseldorf is the beer. In Cologne, they drink Kolsch, and in Dusseldorf, they drink Aldsbeer, which means old beer. So we're gonna go learn a bit more by taking a tour of a couple microbreweries here in town. Thirsty? Yes, but probably ready to give up beer after Carnival. Definitely. Let's go. <laughs> Dusseldorf's Old Town has over 300 drinking establishments and has been called the longest bar in the world because all of the pubs used to be connected. But we were interested in learning about Alt Beer, a top fermented malty brew that sticks out in a land ruled by loggers. So we met up with Dario from Alt Beer Safaris, who took us to five different breweries that make small batch Alt Beer. We asked Dario to explain why he preferred Alt Beer to Cologne's Kolsch, but after a night of boozing, his answer was quite blunt. We say, when a horse drinks beer and gets piss afterwards, that's Kolsch. <laughs> Despite the differences, beer culture is cool in both cities. Waiters, called Kolbes, serve beer in small glasses on a Brauhaus. In Dusseldorf, it's a tray, and in Cologne, it's like a little beer basket. In both cities, the waiters tally your drinks on your coaster and automatically give you a refill unless you put your coaster on top of the glass. If in Bavaria they drink big beers slowly, here they drink small beers quickly, which was a great way to get started for Carnival. Our second day of Carnival was also Valentine's Day. So being young 21st century bachelors, we got some costumes and went out looking for Fräuleins the modern way. Left, 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 right, ooh, match. Oh, nice, happy Valentine's Day, bro. Guys, here's the sad, pathetic truth. It's Valentine's Day, we have really mediocre costumes, and we don't really have a plan, so... So we're gonna go to what we believe is a drag queen beauty contest. Something new for us, definitely gonna be experienced. It should be fabulous. Here's to an interesting evening. <laughs> Cologne and Dusseldorf are known for their tolerance. Their position as trading cities have long brought together people from all sorts of different backgrounds, an ethos that remains alive today. What was happening inside was unlike any event we've ever been to. It was wild. So we asked some of the contestants to explain what it was all about. Taking a group photo with all the ladies of the evening, the bells of the ball. There we go. That's right. There is a competition. They have all uh, their music. They have to dance and maybe lip sync for their life. Best, what's the best part about tonight? What do you guys like the most about it? The uh, dancing and the fun, of course. Oh, everything from beginning to the end. I would say the drink And the shade! Oh my god, the shade. And, the, and the cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun. So, just fun. Well, it's our first time at a, at a show like this, so it's it's all new for us. But. So where are your heels? My heels? I yeah. I'm wearing boots, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hiking boots. We didn't Well, that was probably the uh, most unique experience I've ever had. And that was just a great time. It's a very tolerant city, and we had a fun time. We expanded yeah. our horizons. I enjoyed myself. That was awesome. The party continued into the night, but the next day was Carnival Sunday, the big day in Dusseldorf. 
All right, guys, well, last night was insanity, but the party has not slowed down. It's two in the afternoon, and we're still at it. This whole town is full of people coming in from all other cities around the region. Uh, so before we dive into the party, we're going to go across the river to check out a more traditional custom called the barrel race. Let's go. I guess we took a little bit too much time getting across the river to Niederkassel, because by the time we got there, the barrel race was already finished. Whoopsie! But no worries, on the other side of town, the normally quiet shopping street of Konigsalli was full of partiers. So we made our way over and joined the festivities. So this right here is a Dusseldorf local drink called Killisbitch, also called Killabitch. Mark's gonna try it. I've seen a lot of people drinking it like this, so I'm gonna try it like this. It's like Jägermeister. But, whoa, 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 let's go. The next day we moved up the Rhine to Cologne, home to Germany's biggest carnival. Also happened to be Rosemontag, or Rose Monday, the big day for Cologne. By 10 a.m., the streets were swarming with people lining up to see Cologne's parade floats, the most famous of which are the red and blue sparks, social clubs that dress up like soldiers from the time when the occupying Prussians tried to repress carnival. The main parade is about to start. The festivities have been going wild for the last couple of hours. And, uh, and now we're right in front of the cathedral and the main parades are about to pass by. They're going to go for five hours. So we're going to see a little bit of this one and then we're going to dive into the party and go meet some people. After watching the day's parades, it was time to seek out the last night of partying. Or should I say... Okay. As the sun set, the street filled up with partying carnival fools, known locally as Yeks. And we joined them, partied into the wee hours of the night. On the next night, locals finished carnival by burning effigies, known as Nubus. A symbolic cleansing of all the year's sins, at least until the next carnival. All right, guys, that was our experience here in the Rhineland for Carnival. It was awesome. If you guys ever get the chance, make sure you come. And if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel for new travel videos every Tuesday. See you guys on the road.